Hello, we are Kanak Info Systems LLP and today we will be discussing system notification for new sales order based on cost centers. So basically in our scenario, we have two cost centers, CC1 and CC2. What we have to do is when a user from cost center CC1 creates a sales order, the notification should be sent only to the manager of his cost center and not to the manager of the other cost center. So to do that, we have some prerequisites which I have already configured and I'll quickly walk you through them. The very first is setting up the cost centers. So I'll go to cost center list and as you can see, I've already created two cost centers over here. One is CC1A and the other is CC2A. Then we have roles. So we'll create two new roles. Now, depending on these roles, the notification would be sent. So make sure you define them appropriately. So one is CC1 user. And the other one is CC2 user. And I'll quickly reload this so that it is reflected that I've created two new roles as here you can see it. Now I'll go to users and I'll assign these roles to my users. I've already created two users. One is Abhinash Roy and I will assign him CC1 user role. And then to J, I'll assign the CC2 to user role and I'll save this. Now I'll quickly go to notification list and create a new notification. I'll give this a name. I'll select the channel that is system notification, this bell icon. I'll give this a subject. Now this would define the cost center this sale order is created at. And this would define the name of the sales order. Now this is the very first condition that I'm setting up, which is that I want this notification to be sent when the sale order is created. I've already selected my document type that is sale order. Now I'll set up another condition which will restrict this notification only to the user of a particular cost center and in this case to the CC1 cost center. Now I'll select the recipient for this notification, which is CC1 user. Now you can add a personalized message along with the notification if you wish to. I am leaving it blank and I'll just go on and save it. Now I'll create a sales order for the CC1 cost center. I'll select my customer. And under the accounting dimensions tab, I'll define that this is for CC1A cost center. Then I'll go on to select the product. I'll save this. 
and submit it. Now I have logged in from the CC1 users account and as I can see I have a new notification over here which is that a sales order created by the name of this. So it was very easy to just um, restrict your notifications to your own cost center and not to the other cost center. Similarly, we can do this with the cost center too. And now I have logged in as the CC2 user, which was the user for the second cost center. And as you can see, I have received no notification for the sales order that was created. So you see, uh, I had restricted the notification only for the CC1 user and hence it is not reflecting on the CC2 user's screen. Now I have logged in back to the admin account and if I want these notifications to be alerted on my system as well as an admin, I want to keep a check. I'll just go to the user. I'll select the admin's profile and I'll just check the CC1 and CC2 user box and save it. So now these notifications would be alerted, reflected on the admin's screen as well in order to maintain a healthy and smooth communication. Thank you.